So very few people, so little of the time, live for something instead of against something. I'm not talking about social. I'm saying they're living against fears. Honestly. And it's astonishing. People can't... People are afraid to think. Human beings are afraid to be rational. Almost everybody. Literally, almost everybody. I know for a fact. I know from tremendous amount of experience among people who claim to be the most interested in truth and rationality. Almost everybody is afraid to consider the logic behind propositions that might lead to some outcome that they're unhappy with. Right now, at this moment, I'm primarily thinking of religion, but it goes well beyond that. Well, well, well beyond that. People are afraid of their own heads. What a fucked up thing. Humans are capable of tolerating a lot, including a lot of stress and sadness and fear and shit like that. We're capable of tolerating being in extreme heat or extreme cold. We're capable of tolerating being pressed under a bookcase. We're ductile and malleable. Human, the body is capable of a lot and the mind is capable of terrible circumstances too. But just because you could survive as a quadriplegic for 70 years doesn't mean that you have to. Doesn't mean that you... I gotta... Doesn't mean that it's required. We are living... Me less than most, because at least I have some understanding of this and I'm directing myself in some ways. Me too, in part because I'm part of the system and the system runs on fear. So in addition to the fact that it's pervasive, there has to be something to be afraid of. So the system does make sure to dole out punishments. There is a social hierarchy. There are... People get killed. People get put in prison. People get kidnapped. All kinds of shit does happen. But anyway, sorry, I gotta go right now. All I'm saying is that I recently just reconnected with a bunch of people that I knew 20 years ago, and holy fuckity shit. Holy fuckity shit. Back then, I thought, you know, maybe it just could... I was younger than most of them, by a couple of years. And I thought, maybe the reason why they're so... Like I said. These are the people who claimed and made commitments to rationality above all other things. And they're afraid to even hear a joke. They play... They lie. They're boring and bored. Bored and boring. It's nothing personal against them. It's sad for them. It's sad for me because I'm living in this world that if what I don't have, if I had lots and lots of resources, I guess, whatever, okay, you know, ants will do what ants do and all the rest. But the truth is that uh, my abilities and fortunes rise with the rising of everyone else too with the enlightenment of others all of us are more enlightened our lives are better jesus fucking shit but i can't play the system so if someone knows how to play the system how to how to make a space for my voice for people who want to come hear it for people interested in coming to hear it i'm not planning to go out with loudspeakers but people who are game to hear my voice they are game they are coming they are interested they are, they, they want it they want to talk to me they want to convert. They want to actually have free, open, fearless conversations to try to get to a better place for themselves. Because <laughs> I don't think we're really humans have to be in competition like this. Okay, ideally for all of us, but at least for ourselves, it's fine too. It's just holy shit. <laughs>